Over time, humans found a multitude of uses for these docile wolves. They helped to track and hunt prey, and might have served as sentinels to guard camps and warn of approaching enemies. Their similar social structure made it easy to integrate with human families and learn. To understand their commands, eventually, they moved from the fringes or the outskirts of our communities and into our homes, becoming humanity's very first domesticated animal. The earliest of these proto dogs or wolf dogs. Seem to have appeared around thirty-three thousand years ago, and would not have looked all that different from their wild cousins. They were primarily distinguished by their smaller size and a shorter snout. Full of comparatively smaller teeth, but as human cultures and occupations became more diverse and specialized, so did our friends. Short, stocky dogs to herd livestock by nipping their heels. Elongated dogs to flush badgers and foxes out of burrows, thin and sleek dogs for racing, and large muscular dogs for guard duty. With the emergence of kennel clubs and dog shows. During England's Victorian era, these dog types were standardized into breeds, with many new ones bred purely for appearance. Sadly, while all dog breeds are the product of artificial selection. Some are healthier than others. Many of these aesthetic characteristics come with congenital health problems, such as difficulty breathing, or perhaps being prone to spinal injuries. If you are prone to something, it means it is easier or more likely to happen to you. Humanity's longest experiment in controlled evolution has had other side effects as well. Generations of selection for tameness. Have favored more juvenile and submissive traits that were pleasing to humans. This phenomenon of selecting traits associated with youth is known as neoteny, and it can be seen in so many domestic. Animals, thousands of years of co-evolution may have bonded us chemically. Not only can canines or dogs understand our emotions and body language, but when dogs and humans 
interact, both our bodies release oxytocin. Okay, wait a minute. What in the world is oxytocin? Oxytocin is a hormone commonly associated with feelings of love and protectiveness. It might be difficult to fathom how every Pomeranian, Chihuahua, and Poodle are descended from fierce wolves, but the diversity of breeds today is the result of a relationship that precedes cities. Agriculture, and even the disappearance of our Neanderthal cousins, and it's heartening to know that with enough time, even our most dangerous rivals can become our best friends. Okay, well. Good job! Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to the video today. I hope you learned something. I hope it was useful. And take care. See you next time. Goodbye.